So people ask the question, what about their own negativity, their own negative feelings, thoughts, emotions, and beliefs, and how their inner experiences of negativity may affect what it is that they share in the divine matrix. And what the ancient traditions say about this, this experience is, is nothing new. It's the same experience in humanness now that we had 2,500 years ago. And what the ancient traditions in the text say is that our experience is only an experience, not positive, not negative, until we judge our personal experience, until we give it an importance based on our perceptions and our beliefs. And until we do that, it is simply an experience. So, so the question is, why are we judging ourselves and how do we judge ourselves? And the healing comes from allowing us to feel whatever it is that the world gives to us to feel and to acknowledge that feeling and say, hmm, yes, this is a feeling. Sometimes it's a good feeling, sometimes it's a bad feeling, but to allow the feeling to unfold without judging what the feeling means or being afraid of how it may affect something else in the world. The feelings that we call negative are simply indicators, indications that something has crossed our path that now is inviting us to examine this experience. Why do I feel this way? What is it saying to me? And they become a problem only when we ignore them, when they go unresolved, unreconciled feeling is the term that we, that we use. When the feelings are unresolved and we bury uh, or mask our hurt or our frustration or our anger or our jealousy or our rage, and we do that month after month, year after year, and that feeling is buried inside of us looking for an expression, that's where we begin to have the problems. But the feeling itself, when we have a feeling, I have negative feelings, uh, and I don't judge them. I say, hmm, you know, I'm having a feeling about this person uh, or about this situation. And then I have to check with myself and say, why am I having this feeling? What does it mean to me? What is it telling me? Uh, about my personal beliefs and my personal experience. And in that way, the negative feelings become our best friends because they actually serve us rather than hurt us. And it's all based in our beliefs and the, the, the judgment uh, that we attach to that experience. When we have a feeling in our hearts, we're creating electrical and magnetic waves inside of our bodies that extend beyond our bodies into the world around us. And what's so interesting is the research shows that those waves extend not just one meter or two meters, many, many kilometers beyond where our heart physically resides. So right now in this room, this room is having an effect on Italy beyond this building, beyond these walls. And you'll see this afternoon when many, many people get together with one feeling, many hearts come together and create one feeling, it can change the world and you'll see just how much. But it's only a miracle until we understand the science then it's no longer a miracle, it becomes a technology, a powerful internal technology. So the film, this film was created in a medicineless hospital in Beijing, China. Medicineless hospital, no medicine hospital. I like that hospital. This film shows a woman who has been diagnosed with a cancer in her bladder, a three-inch diameter cancer in her bladder, and Western doctors say they can do nothing. They say, we can't help you. So she has gone to a clinic in China where they think differently, and they apply the technology from the ancient wisdom that is the same as the science that we just saw. So what you will see is this. There are three practitioners, three people trained 
to feel just the right feeling, the precise, correct feeling in their hearts, they create the feeling as if the woman is already healed. They create the feeling as if the woman is already healed. Now we will look inside of her body through a sonogram, through ultrasound, we can look into her body and we can watch her cancer disappear in three minutes in the presence of the language that heals. Does that make sense? Are you okay with that? Does that make sense? Would you like to see that? Okay. Good. So what you will see is the woman is awake, she is conscious, she has no anesthetic, she believes in the process, she believes in what is happening. And there are three practitioners who are trained to create the feeling in their bodies as if the woman is already healed. And then on the computer screen, we will see two images. One image is before the healing, and one image is actual time, real time, so we can see the healing happen. And while the healing is happening, you will hear the practitioners chant a word. And I want you to know there is no magic in the word. It could be any word. But this word is the word that they have chosen that reinforces for them, that tells them the feeling. So they agreed that this is the word that would create the feeling for them. But it could be any word. I just I want you to know that. So I'm explaining this now, and we'll explain it again as we go through the film. Over eight years, the center has successfully treated more than 180 types of illnesses, including bladder cancer.